girls, my name is Michelle and welcome to Sunday School at Home. I hope you're excited to see us because we are excited to see you. We want to get into a time of dancing, but first, let's pray. Oh Lord, dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. We thank you for everything that you've done. We ask you to help us learn today's service. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Now let's get into a time of dancing. Octopus. What's another O? O for? O for Mena. Yes. <laughs> so today, I want to start. Let's, we want to go fishing. How many of you love fish? How many you? Ah, yes. All right. So today we are going to fish. So get, get, get you some space. Yeah. So in a few minutes, we are going to be in the lake. Yeah. So for the hotels over here. Yes. So. Boys and girls, I'm going to cast my fishing line. Yeah, are you ready to catch some fish? You can see them. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, hey, the fish, they're, they're not coming. Oh, today I've not caught a fish. 
but it is well. So, before we begin today's class, let us pray. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for this class that we are going to learn today. I pray that you lead us, you guide us, and that we will be able to learn something today. In Jesus' name, amen. So, boys and girls, today we are going to learn about obedience. The O that you are saying for Obadiah, for all these O's, Octopus, it is for obedience. And the story we are going to learn today comes from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 14 to 20. And that story is when Jesus was calling the disciples. So, boys and girls, let's do this. What does this mean? Yes, this are the fish in the sea. Yes. All right. So, we are going to talk about Jesus as he was calling the disciples. So, Jesus, one day he was walking. He was walking along the Lake Galilee. And he happened to see some fishermen who were seated on the boat. And he's called them by name. It was Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. So when they were being called, what did they do? They just left everything and followed Jesus. And now there were three of them. They were walking. They were walking. And they were walking. And then Jesus saw James and John, sons of Zebedee. And they were also in the boat with their father. And he also called them to join in. And then now they became five. And they continued walking and walking. And these men, they were able to follow Jesus and help him in the ministry. So boys and girls, from that story, the lesson for today is about obedience. So here at home, whether, whether you're at home, at school, that sometimes when you're told by your teacher to do something, what should we do? Yes, we should obey. Yes, and we should obey, not grumbling, not I will obey tomorrow. We should obey today. We should obey today. Just as the disciples, when they were being called by Jesus, they didn't tell Jesus, let us sell our fish first and then we'll come. No, they just left every single thing and they followed Jesus. So as you continue with our lives, even at home, when you're told to do something, it is good to obey. It is good to do what? To obey. Yes. So thank you so much. And one more time, let's do this. Yes. So thank you so much for joining today's class. And I hope that you have learned about the big what? The big O word, which is obedience. Yes. So let us go now to our memory verse. Hi, my name is Gianna. Today I'm going to be seeing the memory verse. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. It says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Let's say it together, children. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. It says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Yay! Welcome back, guys. I hope that you have memorized the verse for today. And now it is time for money for Jesus. Yes. So get your parents, your mom, your dad, your relative, your sibling to help you give money for Jesus. And let them know that the details are going to be on the screen. Yes. So boys and girls, today we have learned about O for Obama. No. <laughs> Not O for Obama, it is O for obedience. Yes, now let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Lord. Even as we continue growing up, I pray that we shall be able to obey and we shall be able not just to obey our parents and teachers, but also obey Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So see you next Sunday. Bye.